It's getting to be Easter time. What a wonderful time of year. Spring is here, at least where I live. It is wonderful weather and we can get back outside on a regular basis because sometimes we do get to go outside in December, in January, in February. But it's also a wonderful time of year to remember Christ. Along with Easter time, we also celebrate with Easter baskets and Easter egg hunts. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what's in my kids' Easter baskets and giving you some Easter egg fillings that we sometimes use for egg hunts. Thank y'all so much for joining me. If you're not subscribed, I would appreciate you subscribing. And like this video, give this video a thumbs up, comment a Easter emoji in the comments. It helps my channel tremendously and I do really, really appreciate it. So I have an eight-year-old boy, a five-year-old girl, and a two-year-old girl. And we usually try to do our baskets between 20 and $25. This year, they came out to be more like $25, and my son's, I think, is just a couple bucks over that. Um, but I'll take it. I had to pay extra shipping for one of his specifically. So I'll start with what's going to be in his basket, and it's pretty minimal. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's more than what other people do and less than what other people do, for, but for us, it is a minimal amount of things. This year, I am doing sunglasses for each of my children. So these are hopefully, I ordered them online, so hopefully they're gonna be big enough for his face. They should be. So I got, the, I got all of them from Target, um, but I think his ended up being $6. So just a nice basic pair of sunglasses. And then he's really into Pokemon right now. So my husband actually had these. We didn't spend the money right now, but we did a while ago um, as he when he got them. So these were $5 each. And I'm just gonna be putting two Pokemon card sets in his. And then along with the Pokemon, this is what I had to pay the extra shipping. I found these I believe on Etsy or eBay, I can't remember. I'll link all this stuff down below. But it's a set of six Pokeballs. So there are different colors. This one's green, red, the regular. I'm like, why didn't they do them all red? I don't know. Pink or purpley. This is more of a dark purple. Blue and yellow. And you can just like pop them open. Well, I think, yeah, pop them open. And there's a little tiny Pokemon figure in each one. So it just comes with six random ones, but I think he's really going to love these. And it's kind of like an egg type thing because, you know, it like pops open and there's something inside. So I thought it was super, super cute for Easter baskets. And those I think ended up being about $10 with the shipping that I had to pay. So then we like to do just a little bit of candy and I went to the Dollar Tree to get the candy that I got for each basket this year. So starting out I got this carrot shaped jelly beans. I think these are just so super cute. Uh, so dollar. And then this chocolate packet of little carrots. And then caramel chocolate eggs. So that is all that's in my eight-year-old's basket. Let's move on to my five-year-old girls. So the girls' baskets are pretty darn close to the same. First off, I got a cute, simple Easter type color dress for each of them from Target and these were eight dollars each um, so they got matching dresses I when I can I usually like to buy in my clothes at consignment sales so obviously I can't get like matching clothes there but when I can I like to 
get matching dresses for them. Also, sunglasses for her, and hers were $6 as well. These were from Target. And then I got this pack of Hatchimals. Both my girls really love these, and they're, again, like a little egg, and they pop open. It's super cute for Easter time. But I actually got this set, because I think it's an older set, on sale for $16. So I'm going to split these in half and put six in each of their baskets. And then, of course, all of the same candy. The carrot jelly beans, chocolate carrots, and caramel eggs. And then, so for my two-year-old, she also got the same type of dress, just in her size. Her sunglasses, oh, let me take them out of the packet. They're like toddler sunglasses, so they were only like $5, I think, from Target. But look how cute those are. Oh, they're so cute. And all of them have the UV protection, but I got her, her sunglasses, of course, half of the eggs, and then all of the same candy, the carrot-shaped jelly beans, chocolate, caramel chocolate. Pretty simple and minimal. And I did want to share with y'all, so we do an egg hunt on one side of my family. We do it a little bit different on both sides, but on one side of the family, each of the families bring a, a bunch of eggs and we put them all in a field and then the kids just run. So I don't always like to put just candy in the eggs because then it's just a lot of candy. My son does have food allergies, so that limits a little bit of like what we can put in it as well. So sometimes we put fruit snacks in it. Sometimes uh, people will put like Teddy Grahams because we have younger kids too. Teddy Grahams or Cheerios or marshmallows in a little bag and put that in an egg. But I also found these at the Dollar Tree. And this is candy. But it's not chocolate, because you know, if it's hot outside, then chocolate's going to melt whenever they're in there. But they're these cute individual wrapped gummies, bunny gummies. Oh wait, are they all bunnies? Yeah, they're all bunnies. So you can just put one of those each in the egg. So I thought those were really, really cute. And then we love to put stickers. So I'll cut up um, individual size, not like one sticker, but... A set of stickers and put those in eggs. So I got some dinosaurs. Uh, oh, yeah. I think these are yours. Are these yours that you picked out? Yeah. <laughs> um, some Shopkins ones and some Toy Story ones. I think yep, that's all I got. So I'll cut those up and I'll put those in eggs. And it's just a really good alternative to candy or food and it's not like those tiny little toys that they'll play with for two seconds and then get rid of um, but it's it's you know something that they'll have fun sticking on their clothes or on a piece of paper and it's not going to you know clutter up my house so a tip for filling some Easter eggs thank you all so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful Easter season and a wonderful day.